Hi, I'm Kat Weixel from Pate Group, and today we're going to do a mini training on the shortcut to OneDrive. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite features inside of SharePoint sites, um, this ability to add a shortcut to OneDrive for a particular library or folder. This is something I've started using as soon as it became available and I stopped using the sync library option. And I'll explain why through this training today. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna go ahead into a couple libraries here in SharePoint and I'm gonna say on the menu of the library, add shortcut to OneDrive. Notice this option is right next to the sync option. Um, but we're not going to choose that. We're going to choose Add Shortcut to OneDrive. So I'm going to do it for this library and another one, another one. And I'm even going to do it from Teams. Notice I'm in a Files tab in one of my Teams, and I have Add Shortcut to OneDrive here as well. So now I have multiple shortcuts. If I go into my OneDrive and I refresh, I'm gonna see these new folders and they have a little icon next to them with a little link symbol. These are all those shortcuts that I just created. This is the way it has been um, for a long time. When you added those shortcuts, they would just kind of show right alongside all of the other folders that you have in your OneDrive. One thing I don't like about that is that sometimes it's not crystal clear. Obviously that icon is very helpful, but I would love to just see all my shortcuts all together, um, completely separate from folders inside of OneDrive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder at the top level of my OneDrive. And I'm gonna make it very clear what this is. Shortcuts to SharePoint libraries. And now I can take all of these. This is a feature that they rolled out more recently, the ability to move your shortcuts into another folder. So now I can actually get this organized and take all of these shortcuts and move them into this new folder. So now it's more streamlined. I get to all my shortcuts in one place. And as I create more shortcuts, I'm just gonna move them into that folder as well. Now, one thing you'll notice when I go into these shortcuts, um, I'm seeing the names and unfortunately in SharePoint world, we get a lot of documents as the name of a library or shared documents is the kind of old version. Um, and then you might have a lot of libraries with similar names, like you might have contracts libraries in multiple sites. So it's best sometimes for your own sake to be able to rename some of these. You do see indicators. It certainly does help um, that these two that we created from the default shared documents library, it added the site name so that we can tell which one is which. Um, so that's certainly helpful. We also, when we're in the, sh the OneDrive environment, we can see the sharing option and that tells us which site these were from. So that certainly is helpful. But if I wanted to rename these, notice from the menu, I don't have that option. There's no way for me to actually rename these folders. But if I go into Windows Explorer, I can actually go in to that folder. And in here, I can rename these. Um, so let's say I know this is actually from my training site. Um, there's no indication here, which is one of the reasons it's difficult. Um, when you're in Windows Explorer, you don't have quite the same visual aid that you do with that sharing column inside OneDrive. So here, if I just click twice to be able to um, edit this, this folder name, I'm gonna actually say training videos because that's what this really is. And I could do the same thing. I could rename these as well to make it a little clearer. 
Now, this, you might be concerned, did this affect the actual library itself? It did not. Uh, this is just for my shortcut. So when I come back here and I refresh in OneDrive, I am going to see the updated name. So this says training videos. But notice, I'm going to show you one of the nice features here. Um, whenever you're looking at a shortcut folder inside of your OneDrive, if you select it, one of your menu options is to open the original location. So I'm going to open the actual source location and notice we didn't rename anything here. This is all fine. I can see that um, the folder is still called video and it's still inside the documents library. So no harm done by our renaming our own shortcut. Now, what do you do when you maybe don't care about all of these anymore and you wanna actually remove some of the shortcuts that you've created? You have a couple options. Inside of OneDrive for Business, you can come in and one of your menu options is remove. This to me is the safest, best way to actually remove the shortcuts you've created. It's on the menu, so it's absolutely um, the way to go. So if I wanted to clean this up and let's say I don't need this shortcut anymore, I could just say remove. It's no longer going to show up there. And when I'm in Windows Explorer, it's also removed from there you can go in and delete one of your shortcuts from here by actually just selecting it and hitting delete or hitting the little trash can up here. Um, you do get a warning and it says deleting an online only folder permanently removes it from your PC without sending it to your recycle bin. So if you go ahead and say yes, are you risking deleting that documents library in the happy how to site? Let's see. So I just did that, it's gone from here. If I come up and look in my shortcuts folder, it's also gone from there. But if we go to the Happy How To site and we refresh, the document library is still fine, it's fully intact. So deleting it from Windows Explorer, while not necessarily the best way to do it, does not appear to do any harm whatsoever. It's still just removing your shortcut. I still prefer though to do it through the actual remove menu option in OneDrive, um, but you could technically do it from either location. What if I want to work on files and I'm going through the shortcut? Let's go in. So I'm going to go into my happy how to documents. I've got these two files in here. I'm going through the access point in my OneDrive. But if you watch, I'm going to go ahead and open this file. I'm going to make some changes here. I'm going to close the file, refresh. My OneDrive says that it just was updated by me a few seconds ago. That same thing is going to be reflected in the site itself. If I refresh here, it's also gonna say that because it's the same thing. It's basically just a shortcut to this library. It's not a copy of anything. I don't have downloaded files from this site. I am actively working in this site through that shortcut. Now for that reason, if you delete, so right now I'm back in my OneDrive. If I delete this file from here, it's gone from my shortcut. It's also gone from the site and no one is gonna see this anymore. So you have to be careful if you're accessing things through your OneDrive, they're not yours <laughs> through the shortcuts. These are still the files that live in those shared locations and um, are being accessed by other folks. So you have to be careful. Now what happens, I'm gonna go back, I'm toggling back and forth quite a bit here. Um, I'm in OneDrive. I realize I just deleted that file and it was by mistake. I should not have done that. I need to restore that file. Um, how do I easily get back to it? Obviously right now I've got all these tabs open so I can jump over to it. But if I were just working in my OneDrive and through my shortcuts, how can we get back? Well, I can't do it directly from here, but if I just go back a level to see all the shortcuts, this is the shortcut that I was going through, right? I'm gonna select this, and remember we looked at this earlier, open original location 
is a way to get to the actual library where the shortcut points to. So I'm gonna say open original location and that's gonna open up a tab with this site. And then from here, I can access the recycle bin for that site. So I always go to the recycle bin through site contents. And then I'm gonna find that very file that I just deleted and I can restore it. And now everybody's gonna feel fine again because they can access that document. Um, so if you ever accidentally delete something while you're working in your shortcuts, just make sure you go to the source site, go to the recycle bin and restore those files. Now, how does it differ deleting a shortcut and we looked at doing that even through Windows Explorer versus deleting a synced library. Let's take a look. First, I'm gonna go in and I am going to sync one of my libraries. Um, so I'm gonna go into, let's see, I have a library called Sync Test in this Happy How To site. I'm gonna go ahead and click the sync Button. So we've been talking this whole time really about the add shortcut to OneDrive option. This is the more well-known that's been around longer, this option for syncing to your computer. Um, this is that, that library that I just synced. I find it in a different location. It's not available under my OneDrive section. It's available under um, I work for Pate Group, so it's available under my Pate Group tenant, um, and it's showing all of my synced libraries here. What happens if I try to delete this the way that I tried to delete my shortcut before? Remember, I was in my shortcuts and I was able to delete one of the shortcuts, no problem. Let's see what happens if I delete this. If I just right click on this, and say delete, I get a warning very similar to that other warning I received the last time I tried to delete. It's giving me more warnings. <laughs> it's doing something. This is typical user behavior, by the way. <laughs> like if you're just clicking around, you're like, okay, whatever. What just happened? If I come here, look at this. That same library that I just synced that had two files in it, it's now empty. It still exists, the library still exists, but it wiped out all the content just from whatever the heck I just did in Windows Explorer. Now, because this is kind of user behavior I've seen frequently, I that's why I see sync as a little bit riskier. We really weren't having the same risk when we tried to delete our shortcuts from Windows Explorer. Now, trying to, you know, thinking you're deleting a synced um, folder or library, you're now running into actually deleting content. And so if this were to happen, again, it's good that there is a recycle bin. So those files also went to the recycle bin. And so if that person realizes what just happened, they can come in here and they can do a restore. But it's really kind of a scary thing to see that happen. And what winds up happening, so now they're back because I just restored them. What you're supposed to do if you sync a library and then you decide you don't want it synced anymore, you actually have to come into OneDrive for Business Sync down here, go to your settings, and then you find where it's synced and you have to say stop sync. If you are looking to really just get quick access to those files that are in these different SharePoint libraries, I do think that shortcut to OneDrive is a safer, better way to go for most folks. And finally, one of the real benefits is when you use shortcut to OneDrive, you are putting those shortcuts in your OneDrive. Those are accessible to you anywhere that OneDrive is accessible. That includes your mobile device. That includes any computer that you really get on and you sign into OneDrive. 
That's different than using the sync option, which is machine based. So if you do a sync, it's going to take that computer, that laptop and sync the files there. But then if you go to another device, you're not going to see those same options. So it's not gonna be all that helpful to you to be trying to access um, your SharePoint documents through Windows Explorer or through other applications. It's one of the many reasons I think shortcut to OneDrive option is just so great. And now that we can put all those shortcuts into a folder to organize it, it makes it even better. I hope this helps and have fun playing with this option.